up everybody welcome back to another video uh, today we're gonna be changing out my headlights and my fog lights not the whole housing just the actual lights like the actual bulb and stuff I just got my um, my LED um, my LED lights in the mail for my highs my lows my fogs so let's go ahead and get started I'm about to pull in my truck into my garage and then we'll go from there I'm gonna try my best to record cuz I can't find my, my tripod and I always have my tripod because I could just like leave it somewhere and just record everything. So I'm gonna try my best, guys. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. I found my tripod. Oh well, you guys can't see it. You guys like my little light? But it's a little light out of zone. It's alright right now. I still gotta take it down and move it down here whenever I start working down here. But it's alright. As soon as it gets dark, it'll start to put in more work. Um, so for now, we're gonna remove this, this. Yeah, that's it. To be honest, but. As we go, we'll see what else, what other bolt we have to take off. On this side is just this and this to a size 10. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off, pull out the headlight, and then I'll get back to you guys right now in a, in a few minutes, in a few seconds. All right, guys, so we went ahead and pulled it out. So right here, we just got it all connected. Like This was the old one right here. We just got this one all connected. So uh, we're just going to turn on the switch and see if I connected it good, because sometimes when you put them in the wrong way, um, they won't turn on, you gotta switch them around and plug them back in. Okay, so as you can see, that's the, that right there is a LED light. Let's see, let's come look at it from a closer view. Oh shit, it was a little too bright, I looked at it, I looked straight at it, so it worked. Now, let me turn it back off. Let's go ahead and throw that thing in and let's get back on track and, um. I'm gonna go ahead and install the other ones and stuff. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'll come back to when I'm about to do the fogs. All right, guys. Here's a little comparison of um, the difference on the the brightness of the lights. Check it out. It's look a whole lot better. Way better. So I just wanted to pause and show you guys real quick. Um, now what I see, I'm gonna finish up and get all of them put on. Um, uh, highs, lows, and then the fog lights. So stay tuned. Hi, right, y'all. Uh, it is the next day right now. I didn't finish my fog light, putting on the LEDs on my fog lights last night because um, since the housing on these fog lights are uh, aftermarket, I guess you could say, that's how they came. So I had to take the little thing out and put in the LED. I already connected the LED to the harness and everything. It turns on. So I just did this out just because it's a little easier to approach this. See, it's not on there now. And But let me show you guys something. My I had ordered this little stereo, this little... Um, it's a little cheap stereo from uh, uh, from Amazon. Uh, it's, it's supposed, it has Apple CarPlay and stuff, so I'm about to unbox right now. And... Okay. Box is open. It's just how I've seen it on YouTube. Uh, okay, let's open this up now. So it comes with. The little controller, the little two plugs and stuff. Um, what else? There's a U, uh, owner's manual. Oh, yeah, it said it was going to come with like a backup camera. I heard it's kind of cheap though, like the, the quality and stuff, but I don't know. I might just connect it, see, what, how, see how it's working and stuff. So there's a little backup camera, the RCAs and stuff for the video and the audio. Um, let's see. It goes with a little microphone. Oh, that's pretty cool. It comes with a lot of things, to be honest kind of surprised um okay it comes with this little adapter for uh 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 um for the steering wheel i guess kind of cool i don't think i put it on but i mean it looks pretty cool to be honest and a little bracket for the, for the stereo and last but not least the stereo pretty cool let's check it out it feels pretty, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels kind of, not heavy, but it feels good. Like, it doesn't feel like it'll, it'll like it's, it's it's cheap. So, it comes with for the two little plugs, uh, video in, video out, audio. Um, let's see, the top. Look at the front. Pretty cool. Uh, has a volume button right here. On the video, it said that this was for Apple CarPlay, but we're going to have to install it and see. It looks pretty clean. No, I'm not even going to lie. I'm gonna have to upgrade it for sure though. This is just like something just to fuck around with. See what see what we better get out of this. I thought it was gonna be kind of cool to do a review on this. So it says Rico sound. 
I've never heard of that brand, but so I'm pretty like it's kind of common sense that this thing is a it's a more of a cheap stereo, but I mean it looks pretty clean to be honest. So we're just gonna have to connect it and give it a try. I'm gonna finish up my fog lights and then I'll be back later uh, today, one a few seconds like for you guys to uh, install this and see what um to see what we're gonna be working with. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, y'all. I ended up leaving my house. The LEDs for the fox did not fit. I had to get some different ones. Um, but the good thing is that the ones that I had, I could I could just have my spares for just in case of my headlights ever go out. So I'll just have two extra ones, I guess. So now I came to Root House. You guys probably already saw this truck. He's gonna help me change this thing out. Um, we already took out the bezel. This bezel right here. It's just a bunch of clips. As you guys can see, clips, clips. Oh, what the fuck? It's just cracked. What's a bunch of clips? And then now he wanna go get, uh, I believe, I think it's a size seven. So we're gonna have to take these out to get this bezel out. And uh, we're gonna get straight to work. I'm not sure if we're gonna connect the reverse camera. It just depends how we're gonna be on time. Because I have a haircut appointment at two. And right now it's like one. So we're gonna have to see how we are on time. I hear a truck. I think it's my brother. It sounds like it. Yes, sir. Street sweeping. There you go. Oh, God damn. Sexy ass fucking truck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, John. So it's it's an it's the next day. Um yesterday I just dropped on my my truck, let Ru work on it because I had to go get a haircut and uh, handle some errands that I had to do. But here's the stereo. Um it's pretty cool, it has this menu button right here. You can change the lights or whatever. Uh setup for uh settings, uh equalizer. Go back. Uh, Bluetooth, go back, uh, radio, SD, uh, phone link. Um, it has screen mirroring. So this is Apple CarPlay and this one's screen mirroring. Let me see if it'll let me screen mirror while I record. Okay, I just plugged in my phone. So I go straight to Apple CarPlay. Um, Everything looks good. Can't complain at all. For what it costs, it's it's really good to be honest. Okay, now let's go back to menu. Uh, phone link. This one's screen mirroring, I believe. Yeah, this one's screen mirroring. So like, you guys can see it's recording. So I can see everything that I'm doing basically. Um, the reason why it's like that facing this way instead of this way is because my my phone is set my lock screen is set so my phone doesn't the screen doesn't turn sideways but yeah but look there it is screen mirroring it's pretty cool to be honest all right now let's go back phone link let's go back to uh, apple carplay so it's pretty good overall i really like it on oh, it came with a backup camera as well i forgot to mention watch put it in reverse See, came with a backup camera. It's not the best, but it's way, way, way far from the worst. So, it's really good, guys. It's really good, to be honest. I recommend you guys check out this uh, this double dinner. You guys are on the market for uh, uh, for an aftermarket stereo with Apple CarPlay. Uh, roughly around around 100, maybe like 120. So, it wasn't really expensive at all. Uh, but I really like it. The quality and everything is good. Um, I like it. I like it overall. Overall, out of a 10, I give it like around... Maybe like an 8 out of 10. Uh, that's going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I recently posted another video on wiring up my fog lights. If you guys haven't checked that out already, go ahead and check it out. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't forget, once again, like, comment, subscribe.